Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 7 on any PC. Uh, this particular laptop, we will actually be dual booting Windows 7 with Windows XP, so in that regard, I will be showing you how to dual boot Windows 7 with Windows XP. So, let's get started. So the first thing that you need to know is that if you're actually going to dual boot Windows 7 with Windows XP or any other OS, you're going to need to partition your hard drive if you have not already. Since this PC is natively running Windows XP, I have a video on how to partition Windows XP after it's already been installed and you've been using it, so go ahead and just hit the link in the description or go ahead and hit that uh, link right there on the corner of your screen. But anyways, if you're not going to dual boot it, then you can just simply erase your hard drive or if you have an empty hard drive in your PC, we can install Windows 7 to that. Secondly, you're going to need a Windows 7 bootable USB drive, which I have here. I will also have a video coming soon on how to make a Windows 7 bootable USB drive in 2022. It was actually quite a pain in the butt to make this drive, so video coming soon on that. Um, but that's really all you need, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so thankfully for my computer, I will not have to change any boot settings, at least not yet. Um, all I have to do is hit F9 on my keyboard, and that will allow me to choose to boot directly from my USB drive. But some PCs, you actually have to go into the BIOS settings and change the default boot drive. And usually it's F10, F11, or F12, sometimes like F8 on some PCs, uh, you just hit one of those keys and that will take you to your BIOS screen and that will uh, allow you to change the configuration to boot from your USB drive. Again, for me though, all I have to do is hit F9 and that will uh, make it boot from this USB drive once, which is all we need it to do. Most computers also have a boot screen like this, but not all. So you'll know which key to hit because it will say it on your BIOS screen. So as you can see, I have this boot screen and I'm just going to click USB hard disk. And now we're going to start booting into the Windows 7 installer. Okay, so as you can see, we are booted into the installer. Okay, so let's just go ahead and go through this and set it up. Install now. Now this could take a differing amount of time depending on like your USB drive, the hard drive in your PC, uh, lots of different stuff. Um, but hopefully it won't take too long. So for me, I'm going to hit custom because I don't actually want to upgrade uh, my Windows XP. I want to dual boot it. So as you can see, disk 0, partition 2. Here's the partition we made in the last video. Again, link will be in the description if you want to check that out so you can dual boot your PC as well. So now I just click next. And that's it. It's installing Windows, and uh, I will get back to you as soon as it is done. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a username. Next, create a password. Okay, we're going to skip the activation for now. Ask me later. We are on central time. And it appears that uh, the Wi-Fi card in this computer works with this, which is awesome. So I'm going to log in. Okay, and just like that, we have Windows 7 installed on our PC. This computer was designed for... Windows XP, but it actually seems to be handling it just fine, which is awesome. Uh, great, we have lots of free space uh, on our hard disk. Uh, I would upgrade this to an SSD, but I don't use it enough to do that, so seems kind of pointless. But uh, anyway, we have it installed, and uh, now let's just go ahead and get some graphics drivers going, hopefully. Or maybe it won't even need them, because honestly, I don't know if I can find a graphics driver for this thing. Okay, wow. Well, that, that worked great. So, 
as you can see Windows 7 is fully installed and running on this computer so if you enjoyed this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well as drop a like and if you have any questions or comments leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can again a video on how to make a bootable Windows USB drive is coming soon so please stay tuned for that anyways thanks for watching catch you guys in the next video peace